Colonel. We, we want to bring in now the director of Jihad Watch, Robert Spencer, who is, I believe, on the line. Robert, are you there? Yes, I am. Um, so you saw the Hello, press release from the White House. We hear you fine. Thank you. You saw the press release, I believe, from the White House this morning saying they're going to convene um, a symposium, essentially, on violent extremism. The word Islam, the word Muslim, never mentioned. Um, is well, it's just another absurd sign, really. It's a sign that the administration has no willingness to deal with this situation as it really is. There is no possible way that they can defeat this threat if they are not even willing to name it. And it's, this is something, it's not anything new, but I'm absolutely certain that this symposium, as it's been announced, since it won't name the problem itself in its very uh, convening, is not going to make a bit of difference in dealing with this problem adequately. We want to talk to you about these no-go zones in Paris, and you heard our own Greg Palcott, who lived there for eight years, saying he would, the police wouldn't go there. He was driving with police cars, make a left here. No, no, we can't go into those no-go zones, these, these areas ruled by Sharia law where the police won't even go, learning now that in the United States we even have similar zones in upstate New York and Texas and other spots uh, where Sharia law in place. Um, does this mean a big clampdown is coming on these no-go zones, or will they continue to operate unfettered? Well, they've been operating for years, and uh, the problem is in France, of course, there's so many of them. There's 751, according to an official uh, French government website. And so it's not going to be very easy for the French to suddenly say, we're going to start enforcing French law in these areas. But this is something that has to be done, and the longer they postpone the problem, the more difficult it will be for them to deal with it. In the United States, the situation is very different. There are growing Sharia enclaves in urban areas like Dearborn, Michigan, and northern New Jersey. But there's a, probably even a bigger potential problem in these uh, areas that you mentioned, in rural areas where there are camps of the Muslims of the Americas, which is affiliated with Jamaat al Fukra, which is a, a group in Pakistan. Daniel Pearl was on his way to interview its head when he was uh, murdered and uh, they have been responsible for murders in the United States, including that of Rashad Khalifa, who was a uh, Muslim scholar who was considered heretical in Arizona. He was murdered by members of Muslims of the Americas in 1992. They've been linked to 10 other murders, as well as fire bombings and so on. And there are indications, uh, evidence actually, strong evidence that there's guerrilla arms training going on in these camps in these rural areas. And of course, that's unmistakably to prepare for jihad in the United States. Mm. Robert Spencer of Jihad Watch. Thanks for the perspective on that. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Robert.